Hello everybody and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Last time we arrived here in Kakariko Village and we picked up some bombs, a mushroom in the woods nearby, two bottles, a bug catching net which helped us catch this fairy that we found near one of the bombable walls and we kept it in a bottle. And we picked up three pieces of heart which is excellent. So only about 20 more to go in the game. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be heading all the way to that red X. Yeah, but first there's actually more stuff we can do nearby, so let's do that. And I don't want to have my fairy equipped, just in case. Alright, so... Ooh, interesting building. Excellent. Anything interesting, no? Except this book, that looks interesting. We'll come back to that, I assume. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Anyways, so we gotta make our way to that red X to find the village elder who we learned about in the last episode, who wasn't in the village anymore, so I guess you can call him the palace elder now. Anyway, let's stop rambling about that and talk to this guy here in this house. Hey, Link. I've been quarreling with my younger brother. It's something really stupid, too. But sometimes you can't just give in, you know? So I sealed the door to his room. That'll learn him. That's not really how I would deal with any family drama, but to each their own. Anyway, bombable wall right there. So, let's go do that. And in this room is the younger brother. Hey Link, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? I think it's safe to assume that he is. Anyway, you see this door here. You couldn't get to this area from that side, so basically bombing that wall is a requirement. Anyway, let's go see what all the fuss is about. If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we will give you something good. Ready, set, go. Oh, I messed that up really badly. Oh, and I messed it up even worse. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the prize. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me... Please let me say... Oh, my God. I still got it. Okay. You qualified. Congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. Oh, God. I was so worried. And for some reason, I thought it was downgraded to 10 seconds for the time limit. Anyway, we found our fourth piece of heart, which means that our heart level increases to 5. Excellent. So if you're following along and did exactly what I do, then you should have five hearts by now. Anyway, pick up the rupee, because money is good. You can never have too much money. Alright, now we gotta make our way to that red X. Sup, bro? How you doing? I'm just gonna take you out now. Alright. Perfect. Alright, so come over this way. Hey, it's a new form of these guys. Take you out. I didn't mean to go down there, but he doesn't respawn. Okay, he does respawn. Oh, okay, thanks for the heart back. That was... Okay, I didn't mean to go down there. I had to go up here. I don't even know why I went... No, come on, dude. I just got that heart back. Come on! Uh, uh, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, God! No heart? Okay. Well, whatever. And pick up that heart. That's our house, right? Yep! Alright, so, come this way. Ooh, sign. What does this say? Shopping ahead at Lake Hylia. Ooh! Shopping! Go away, Walter! Right there is the other shop if you need to go to it. I'm not interested. God, Walter, get away! Sup? How did you hit me? I don't know. Is there anything under here? Just a rupee. Can't lift that up. What does this say? Lake Hylia! We will come back to Lake Hylia at a later time, but for now... Let's go see what's in here. Oh, it's another fortune teller. Never mind. Never mind, I hate you guys. Hey, Sandcrab. 
How you doing? Oh, d really? Really? Well, thank frickin' God I had a fairy. Holy shit. That was such fail. God, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, avoid everybody, avoid everybody, avoid everybody. Alright, first off, before we go to the, um, to find the village elder, let's come up this way. Go all the way over to, oh god, it's the, uh, I'm not gonna even read the sign, I don't really care right now. I'm just gonna head all the way over here, because, hey, Buzz Blob, how you doing? Thanks for the rupee. Anyway... If you equip your mushroom and talk to this witch right here... Hehe. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Drop by the shop later for a special surprise. Hehe. <laughs> Alrighty. So, actually, let me go equip the boomerang again. You don't really need to go all the way back, just exit the screen and then come back. And it's easy as pie. Alright. Oh god! Dude! Bad enough I just died a moment ago, now you gotta do this on me? Anyway, if you come in the magic shop, you can pick up some magic powder. Try sprinkling it on enemies and many other things. And now let's talk to the witch's apprentice right here. Red is the medicine of life. Green is the medicine of magic. Blue renews both life and magic. Here, taste a sample of the red potion. Hehe. <laughs> and that refills your hearts. It's better when you have low hearts when you do that, but oh well. Just wanted to show that off. Plus, we needed to go in there to pick up our magic powder. And now we have 200 rupees. That's awesome. Okay. I didn't really expect that guard to be under that one. Oh god. Run! Oh god, I just ran right into that arrow. I don't even know why I did that. Alright, now we just gotta avoid the Octorox. Oh god, Octorox. Please. No. Please no. Okay. And now, if we come this way, I do believe that we will arrive near where the village elder is. Hello, Octorok, thank you for your money. Well, it's technically not my money now. Okay, more Octoroks, just gotta- oh god! Hey, Blue Ruby. Oh god, uh, uh, I don't want to die again. Please. Oh god. I don't even know. Oh god, I'm just I'm just gonna go down. I think this is where the guy is. Yeah, this is where he is. Oh god. I know he- yeah, there's hearts in here, thank god. Okay. Oh, and there's a bombable wall. I wanted to face that Armos, but oh well. There's a bombable wall here again, and if you come back here, no, don't avoid the chest, you can pick up a total of 100 rupees, as well as some bombs, which is very excellent. Because we did need a refill on that. Anyway, here he is, the village elder. Let's talk to him. I am indeed Sahasrala, the village elder and a descendant of the Seven Sages. Oh, really? I'm surprised that one so young is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane, Link. Not just anyone can use that blade. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you truly wish to find it? <laughs> I like the option, uh, yeah. But we're gonna select, of course. Good! For your first test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I shall share more of my knowledge with you. Now, onward to the palace! You got it, Sahasrila. Okay, so... Oh, hi, Armos. How you doing, bro? Let's freeze you and take, take you out. Take you out? Yeah, thanks. Okay. And... 
Take you out, take you out, take you out! Yeah! Alright, now we just gotta find the Eastern Palace entrance. I do believe that it's over this way, so... Okay. Let's completely fail! Now let the... Oh, God. God, destroy him before he comes back to life. Okay, thank you. And I do believe... Oh, God! Avoid the armos! Oh, God. Alright, now... Um... Uh, avoid... Oh, God. Ha-ha! Tactic! And, I do believe that this will lead to the palace. Uh, uh, avoid, avoid. Uh, uh, God. Uh, uh. Avoid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please drop a heart when I destroy you. Please drop a heart when I destroy you. Please drop a heart when I destroy you. No? Okay. Well... We have arrived in front of the Eastern Palace, so next time on The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, we will be tackling our first dungeon of the game. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.